Hello, gentlemen. Today I'm going to break down the blitz that Henry used last night on W. And if you don't know who those two players are, they're pro players. It was the MCS last night. And hopefully you were watching so you get that free Micah Parsons. I mean, that was the reason that a large majority of people were in that stream. Uh, but yeah, Dubby is a great player. Uh, respect to him uh, for making the live event. But he did get absolutely boxed by this blitz. It's to no fault of his own. I think many of us would have been boxed just like him. Uh, because the blitz is just that good. And Henry knows what he's doing on every single snap. And I'm not really going to break down their game. But I will break down the blitz so you guys can use it. It's very good against Bunch, but I'm also going to break it down versus, you know, another formation so you know how to set it up versus somebody who's not spamming Bunch on you. Uh, but this Blitz is very good, and I'll show you a couple clips uh, of Henry just completely bagging W with this Blitz. Okay, let's briefly talk about personnel because I do consider this pretty important. Uh, Nickel 3-3 is a formation that can be found in a variety of playbooks. I'll post them in the description of this video if you want to know what playbooks have it. Uh, but I'm in 4-6. It has 3-3. Three, three. It has 3-3 three, three Cub. Uh, we're not going to talk about Cub today, but we are going to talk about 3-3. Three, three. Now, the personnel that matters is I consider like the defensive ends pretty important. Like You want them to be fast and have good acceleration. They're oftentimes going to be the ones who kind of come free. Uh, slot cornerback, good speed. And then for your linebacker position, sub and safeties, because oftentimes you want them to be faster. Safeties are typically faster than linebackers. Sometimes you'll have to use your one of them. Uh, you want them to be able to animate on the ball and then also one of them is going to be manned up in bunch or against bunch and you want them to hold up in coverage so those are the positions that i consider kind of important let's go ahead and get into the blitz breakdown okay so the play is going to be linebacker blitz zero now this is different than the nickel blitz zero that we talked about already so don't get it confused for this blitz that we're talking about today you want to go to your coaching adjustments and make sure that your auto flip is on that is important, especially against Bunch. So let's go ahead and show it now against Gun Bunch. I will show it against another formation in a second, but this is how you set it up against Bunch. Okay, let's talk about the setup now. And I just wanna say real quick that this is more advanced than the Nickel Blitz Zero. So if you hate adjusting, uh, just use the Nickel Blitz Zero. Uh, this one is going to be more complicated. So what we're gonna do for the setup is we're going to press. So wire triangle, left stick down, that's gonna press our defense. And do keep in mind that the order that we do this is important. Um, there's a couple things that don't have to be in order, but just for good measure, follow me step for step, just so you get the right setup. Uh, so we pressed our defense. We're now going to spread our linebackers with D-pad right, left stick up. That's how they should look now. You're going to double tap wire triangle to open your secondary menu, LB, which is your slot cornerback, and then right stick down to blitz him. You can't currently see him blitzing, but he is. Uh, the next thing would be either click on to the linebacker uh, that's up to you if you want to do it like that you can just hit a right stick up to man cover the slot receiver because the slot cornerback splitsing we do have to get this guy manned up uh you can also do you know d-pad right twice and then a right stick up and then rb that's the quick adjust way to do it um and then we're going to contain rb and then rb again move this guy down so he's in a contain and then crash your defensive line up so d-pad left right stick up and that is how your play should look. So let's go ahead and run it now, see how it works. As you can see, that guy comes in free. And it's going to be a little bit different every single time. Uh, this is, like I said, kind of advanced, so you just kind of have to get used to like these different adjustments. But it isn't the most complicated thing in the world. I know it seemed like the longest blitz ever whenever I was breaking it down like that. But as you can see, I just did it in a few seconds. This is totally possible to get off before your opponent snaps. So let's go ahead and do it again. You can see that's the importance of having a fast defensive end and i don't know for sure if this is the exact setup henry uses he probably doesn't use this exact one but this one definitely comes in so we'll go ahead and do it again grab to spread my linebackers and then make sure your defensive ends look like this you always want them to have this kind of outward angle with their pass rush that's how you get them to come free do it again as you can see we had basically three guys come in that time let's go to instant replay and then we'll talk about what happens if they block, you know, a running back or a tight end or whatever. So like right there, defensive tackle, I have no idea how he came in like that, but he did. Slot cornerback came around. And this is overall the best way, in my opinion, to defend Bunch. Okay, so I'm starting this back up again. My dog just started barking like crazy and I had to shut her up. <laughs> I'm just gonna run this a few more times. Uh, so we'll go ahead and press. 
and then we're going to remember just do the same setup Bring this guy down crash defensive line up and this is the play art and what we're going to do now is talk about you know block running back or something you're going to see what happens if they don't set up pass protection a blocked running back isn't always going to cut it like you're going to see right there you know that was you know that was decent pass protection it was definitely enough time to make a throw but that is not going to be the case all the time so blocked running back you're going to see that the defensive end gets one-on-one -on -one with the running back and the great thing here is this defensive end is in a pass rush he's not in a contain so what that means is he is going to absolutely destroy this running back a large majority of the time Let's go ahead and keep doing it already messed up the setup okay we're good blocked the running back and slot cornerback comes in so i'm telling you right now if you just block your running back expecting to pick up this blitz that is not going to cut it at all one more time with the running back then we'll do tight end and then also max pro as you can see slot cornerback comes in okay now let's talk about tight end real quick same deal block the tight end you're gonna see somebody is still coming free like you can't you can't just do that and then with max protect I mean the max protect isn't even that good either if I'm being honest like this blitz really is pretty insane max protect and what you're gonna see is right there you know it, it did end up being pretty good but I've seen multiple instances where the max protect you know the stock max protect doesn't really get the job done plus i'll be honest you don't really want to be max protecting in this game at most you want to be blocking six uh make sure that guy's blitzing max protect again here we go you see how the defensive end gets on the running back and that's how the max protect isn't that good because he's on a pass rush he's going to bully this running back a large majority of the time and then there's one more aspect of this that I want to talk about before I move on. Now, before I show you guys one of the big reasons why this defense is so good, make sure to go to acemadden.com and become a member. You gain access to every single ebook we have on the site. Right now, we have an offense and a defense. And then we're posting another offense on Friday, which is September 8th. All of these schemes are detailed. They're going to make your life so much easier. You're going to start winning more games. So just go to acemadden.com. Use code ACE for 15% off any membership. All of them will grant you access to every single ebook that we have. So the last thing I want to talk about in regards to this blitz versus bunch is the fact that we have a perfect man across the board. And what I mean by that is uh, typically with a cover zero, yes, you're going to have everybody manned up, but I will say oftentimes it's going to be something more like this, where you have a cross man, like this guy's going to be manned up to the tight end. This guy will be manned up to like, I don't know, the, the slot receiver, this guy will be blitzing. And then, you know, maybe something more like this, right? Um, but with the linebacker blitz zero, everybody's manned up on the same side of the field. And the reason that's so good is you maybe noticed when we started blocking guys, and this might not come in well, cause I moved this guy. But the great thing about this blitz is if they start blocking guys, let's go ahead and max protect just so we can look at the safeties. What you're going to see is they actually zone off and they actually are helpful. So like. In many cases, when you block somebody that's manned up, you know, they will go and find work, but it isn't always like this. Sometimes they'll turn into a spy, but in this case, uh, one turns into a middle third and the other one turns into like, it doesn't even look like a deep half. It looks more like an outside third. So you basically get help across the board. So if they block their guys to pick up this blitz, you're still getting additional help in coverage. So that's where this defense is really robust. It's really good at, you know, adapting and it's still gonna be good even if they block it. Okay, now let's talk about this play versus a different formation because you're not gonna be facing bunch every single time. And if you wanna use this blitz, you're gonna have to set it up a little bit differently versus another formation. So we'll come out in linebacker blitz zero. We'll just do like another formation, like tight Y off weak. I'm trying to find a good play. We'll just do this one. And the way you're gonna set it up is gonna be different because 
with Bunch, when you press, this slot cornerback is already in position to contain. But if you do it now, and then you contain, you see how he's in a blitz angle, and you have to move him in. And to me personally, I don't really like that. I'd rather him just play his man. I'm just going to keep him manned up. And then I'll run it kind of like the more traditional way, the, the way that you maybe saw last year for Madden 23, where you just bring these guys down, the linebackers down, make sure they're in contains, and then crash your defensive line up. And to me, that's going to be your best bet against a formation like this instead of sending your slot quarterback. And you're going to make sure they can't get out of the pocket. One guy's probably going to come free. And this is typically what it's going to look like. So it's in replay. As you can see, both guys do come free. And uh, whoever's in a slot did get a, a super win, but that's okay. So we'll do it again. Spread your linebackers. You don't technically have to. I just do it so they, you know, go back to the proper spots. Contain. And then this is typically easier than the other one because you don't have to reman a linebacker to a slot receiver and whatever. This one's pretty simple. So go do it again. Didn't come in that time, and it is going to be more inconsistent. Look at why. Why just got wide open. I want to go to his replay just to see how he got that open. So we just got a free release inside. He got bumped. Okay, that's what happened. But yeah, this one's going to be more inconsistent than the uh, bunch setup. The bunch setup is pretty glitchy. This one is just okay, um, but it is usable. I do want to make that clear. It's definitely something you can mix in. If your opponent is scrambling a lot, this is going to be something that's really good at keeping them in the pocket. Make sure your defensive ends are crashed out like this. One more time. Didn't come in that time. But yeah, just take my word for it. It will come in sometimes. So yeah, that's going to be it for the Blitz Breakdown. It's kind of advanced. If you guys can pull off the adjustments, that's great. It's going to be really good for you against Bunch. If you can't pull that off or you simply don't want to, just use the Nickel Blitz Zero, and that's going to serve you well in many cases. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe for more Madden 24 content, closing in on that 20,000 subscribers. And then if you guys want that additional help, acemadden.com. Become a member. Use code ACE for 15% off any membership. See you guys later.